All right, so do not be scared of that sigma. That sigma just is a big Greek capital S that stands for sum. So in the beginning of arithmetic sequences, a lot of times they'll give you a sequence like this, and those, those directions will be something like uh, write out the first 10 terms, right? And you'll be like, easy, I'm just going to plug in one to get my first term, whatever that is. I'll plug in two to get my second term, whatever that is. And you're like, this is cake, right? Why, why am I doing this in algebra two or algebra even, right? It's like, it's like no big deal. And then, so that's what this is. This is our a sub n and all this fancy symbol is asking you to do is to after you finish writing out your terms, starting off with the first term and ending with the 10th term, just to sum them all up. So you'll get all these values and you will sum them all up. And so that is what that sigma sign stands for. We're not going to be scared of it. We're just going to, so, and that is one way of attacking this one is just to write out the terms from the first term to the 10th term and add them all up. But we might notice a shortcut, because what if this has been to the hundredth term or something? And we'd be like, ooh, dude, I don't want to write out a hundred terms. Uh, let's see if there's any patterns here um, that I can make this a bit shorter. So here we're only going to the tenth one. But um, you might recognize this as linear, like y equals mx plus b. The m is only raised to the first power. It's linear, therefore it is arithmetic. Um, if we were to write out these terms, we would see that you're adding the same thing every time. You're adding, it should be four thirds every time because that is the slope here. That is your common difference here. So let's figure this out just so you trust me. Uh, for my first term, I, when I plugged in a one, negative two plus four thirds, my gosh, the hardest part is adding fractions, right? So that's negative six thirds plus four thirds is negative two thirds. And then for, for a sub two, when we plugged in two, we're getting a uh, negative, let's see, so that's negative six thirds plus eight thirds. So that's two thirds. And hey, look, from negative two thirds to two thirds, we did add four thirds. And this one here, if you bothered to do that, it'd be adding another four thirds. And you'd see that uh, you would be at six thirds or two. So you would see that pattern. You would recognize it as arithmetic. And where am I going with this? Well, we have a formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence. So the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is the sum of the first term, or is the average of the first term and the last term times the number of terms you have. So if I want the sum of these first 10 terms, I'm going to start off with my first term, which is negative two thirds. And I don't know what my last term is, but the trick for these is you can always get your first term by plugging in whatever that bottom number is. Here it's very natural. We're starting with a one. Later on, we might start off with something different. No big deal. But you're always going to get that first term by plugging in for your M, whatever it tells you to. And then so I got that negative two thirds when I plugged in a one for my M. And then I can always get my last term by plugging in where they tell me to stop. So if I plug in a 10, A sub 10 will be negative two plus four thirds times 10. So that's negative six thirds just to get a common fraction right away plus 40 thirds is positive 34 thirds. Leave it to this worksheet to uh, start you off with fractions, but that's okay. And let's see, so we keep going. So we're gonna take that average, add them up, divide by how many we have, and multiply by how many terms we have. Now here, if we're starting at one and going to 10, we do have 10 terms. Later on, you're gonna have to be a little careful if they start you off with anything other than a one. Um, but here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, easy, 10 terms, we'll leave it be. Uh, just, just notice though, 10 minus 1, some people are tempted to do that, 
would say nine terms. And so there's always one more than what you would get if you subtracted. So a little trick for later if you start with something other than uh, a one. But back to this one, uh, if I just add the top, negative 2 thirds plus 34 thirds is 32 thirds divided by 2 times the 10. So I'll reduce, make that a 5. And 32 times 5 is 160. So we have 160 thirds. Whew. And that is the sum of the first 10 terms of that sequence. I scribbled all over it, but hopefully it makes a little sense. We're going to do the next one the same way, a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, there you go.